I'm joking, ladies. Wow. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven percent is a joke. This is not fun. So today on O three. We have our first guest. This is our first guest. This is a big moment for us. This is, is our first our, official yeah, guest. First, first our first guest. official yeah. guest. We have Max from Black Brooklyn. Woo! Shout out, Max. Woo! Clap it up. Clap it up. So, Max, you're going to lead off and tell O3 heads what is Black Brooklyn. Yeah. And also a little bit about yourself. Give us a little bit of backstory. Uh, thank you for having me. Appreciate you guys. Um... My name is Max, you know what I'm saying, I'm from uh, Black Brooklyn. You can check us out, www.blackbrooklyn.io. Our whole thing is pretty much just bringing, um, you know, uh, crypto and blockchain technology to our people, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. so that people know, like, you know, they can really elevate themselves through, um, you know, technology. You know, mm-hmm. right, right, right. you know what I mean? But I'm from Brooklyn, Brooklyn zone, mm-hmm. so, you know, Black Brooklyn's the name of the company. Like I said, check us out, www.blackbrooklyn.io. Um, at BlackBerry underscore on all socials. Love that. Dope, 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 dope. So, what is your vision for Black Brooklyn? Um, really take over just Brooklyn, um, the city, you know, and really just be the beacon for crypto technology as it goes across from Brooklyn, Manhattan, the boroughs to try to area because it's a global technology. So I just really mm. want to go across the board. Word. Okay, yeah. um, and what in particular though? How do you want to heighten like the black community with it? Because I know cryptocurrency is not. Um, I can't say even speak for myself or even Luther. Like we don't know too much about we, it. So like, how are you really trying to infiltrate like our community with exposing us more to cryptocurrency? Yeah, for sure. Um, thank you for asking. Mm-hmm. It's really <laughs> important that um, you know people understand how they can use the technology. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, at the end of the day, most of our folks is, you know, like a lot of y'all, y'all, y'all might not understand how it works. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, yo, what's crypto? Like, what's NFTs? Is that just a monkey? Like, people mm-hmm. are just confused. They don't really know a lot. Um, but if people understood that um, how empowering the technology was, um, how it works through um, um, every facet of, of business and, um, you know, ideas and things like, you know, whether it's fashion um, whether it's sustainability through like um, food, whether it's like the DMV and like mm. how politics are affected or um, medical, how you get your medical supplies and, you know, that type of thing. Like everything is technology. Everything is data. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So really having an understanding of that and being able to infuse a system that allows you to get into some, we can share something mm-hmm. um, and really have a say in what happens, um, you know, we're, we're on the cusp of that. You know what I mean? Um, and... Um, it's really important for Black Brooklyn to communicate those things. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. besides that, just keep it simple. Like you know, what I mean, mm-hmm. if people just want to be able to transact and like exchange Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. All the above, we want to be able to you know take each part and have people understand how to how to utilize it. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So, what is like if somebody was initially trying to just start their journey in the cryptocurrency? <laughs> like, <laughs> what is like the question. one the one like piece? Of, I don't want to say advice, but like, I guess like a way to, like yeah, a way like to a like simple way you could it. probably tell somebody yeah. how to get started in the crypto. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would tell people that you want to own the actual crypto. So, mm. you know, the same way you could have a dollar bill versus somebody could sell you a dollar. Like, you know, if your phone don't work, you don't got battery, you know what I'm saying? But you got a dollar bill. You know what mm-hmm. what I'm saying? A do- having a dollar bill is more important than having somebody sell you some digital money. So mm-hmm. even though what I'm doing is digital money, mm-hmm. you still want to own the asset that really says you own that digital money. So Black Brooklyn lets people know that mm-hmm. they actually own that and they can use that. Not you really got it, you know what I'm saying, but your phone dead. You know what I mean? Mm. So that's really our, our whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, can you, know, you just... Um, okay. And Ex- I would say get a crypto wallet, like get something like a wallet, you know what mm. I'm saying? Be able to, whether it's hardware wallet so you can store it or something that's on the data that lets you get a wallet in your phone that you can use. PayPal, Cash App, they they really get crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? But we really want to have our own thing. Mm-hmm. But, okay. Uh, my question, can you explain like exactly like what does the blockchain mean? Because I'm like a virgin to all of this. So I'm like mm-hmm. trying to learn. No diddy. Mm-hmm. Um, no diddy. Diddy. Um, 
you know, like blockchains, are kind of their technology. You know what I mean? It's at the end of the day, it's technology. Mm-hmm. Asking somebody to understand how the internet works, ones and zeros, people don't really understand. Mm-hmm. To put it plainly, a blockchain is built up of little blocks, all come connected, and then they build one big block, and that has a value, and it moves on to the next block. Boom, little blocks. Into a big block value, next block. That's how it works with okay. blockchain technology. But all the little blocks is your computer, your computer, my computer, his computer, their computer. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like those, all our computers come together and we make a block. But if we not on that block, nobody it's, we just borrowing off day block mm-hmm. or we adding to day block. You know what I'm okay. saying? Mm-hmm. So Black Brooklyn is making sure that we making some blocks too. Interesting. Is that similar okay. to like that's similar to like mining? Yeah, mining okay. is mm-hmm. mining is is mining is blockchain technology. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, you know okay. I, mean? that's, I heard that's that on TV. So I had that yeah, you. mining mm-hmm. is very important. It adds to the network. That is mining. That's what mining is. Okay, mm-hmm. word. Um, but you know, if nobody's mining, if nobody's making a blockchain, if nobody's making a meme coin, if nobody's making NFTs, if nobody's making this technology that you can use to take some of that money and extract it, then we just we we working backwards. Work back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Word. Okay. I love that. So tell us about the event on the 27th. Talk to us more about Room 13. what you're trying to yeah. do, how you try to bring people together, and what people can really gain from that experience. Um, yeah, um, Room 13 brunch, uh, October 27th. It's in Brooklyn Navy Yard. You know, y'all, y'all, nobody's new to Brooklyn Navy Yard. That's, it's been cooking up lately. Um, you know, pop out. It's going to be a nice brunch from 11 to 4. You can RSVP. Um, we're gonna have a DJ. We're gonna have um, a chef. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, we're gonna have some games. Hopefully, we have some hosts. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Oh, um, I thought you said hoes. I was about to say mm-hmm. hoes. Mm-hmm. I thought you mm-hmm. said some hoes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, ladies, ladies. You know what I mean? We keep it, no, you we said host. You didn't say none of the, the H word at all. That's me. Sorry. He said host. We I know. Host, I, that's yeah. on me. Sorry. Um, yeah, so you know, we just want to make sure that you know we have we create a good time for everybody mm-hmm. to be able to you know just come together. Like I said, it's a brunch, it's not really you know, it's not a big seminar. We probably just try to get people involved. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have um sponsored drinks, you mm-hmm. know, what I'm for everybody at RSVP, they'll get some sponsored drinks for a couple hours. You know, what I'm saying, we were able Um, you know, it's a nice two floor gallery. I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me, uh, two side gallery, mm-hmm. not two floor. Um, it's private, you know what I'm saying? You got an RZP to make sure you get a pass, parking pass. Pop out and have a good time. Or, Lovely. Yeah. So what is so what's the message you want people to take away though from that from that event as it deals with like crypto or like at least them getting their foot into learning more about it? To join um, the block gang. Like the joining, yeah. Mm-hmm. Gang gang. To join. Yeah. Uh it's just really just having a culture on the blockchain. We just want to make Love sure that. our mm-hmm. culture is involved with the blockchain. Mm-hmm. Uh we try to do that through Black Brooklyn and Smooth Studio. So we have like an in-house gallery that allows us to be in the metaverse, mm. create coins, create digital, anything that we gives us a digital footprint. We can do that with Smooth Studio, shots Smooth Studios, Smooth Studios at XYZ. Um you know, uh but I want people to understand that our culture is on the blockchain, whether that's streetwear culture, hip hop, you know, um just Having a voice and having the creative side, we can put that on the blockchain and really keep hold of that. You know what I'm saying? So our story won't get forgotten later on. Mm-hmm. Like we'll be able to own that and monetize, do our thing off that. You know what I'm have a legacy. I love to, love to see gonna ask it. Too. I was going to ask, how is the metaverse? I remember when I first met you, y'all had the party in the metaverse and stuff like that. How mm-hmm. is like the progress yeah, since? How is the metaverse? Um, I mean, um, there's some like, a shout to some crypto punks. They got punks in residence, Nina Chanel. Um, she really been heavy, like really like understanding how to put art um, and taking the community with crypto um, and adding that to the metaverse um, and adding, you know, you know, something where you can have it. It's because it's for all artists. It's not just, mm-hmm. you know, it's just not just paint, you know, painters. It's also for musicians, for videographers, anybody that has some art, they're able to take it and put it into a space where people can share it. People, maybe you can token get it, make, you can make some money off money of that, mm-hmm. you can create a show off of that. I'm saying like, you know, they just recently had like, you know, you, if you want to see Giants or Spike Lee, you know, over at the Brooklyn Museum, you know what I'm saying? Um, you had to pay to get that show. You know what I'm saying? You could come to the free joint, but you had to pay to get that show. Um, so the metaverse allows you to do something that di- like that digitally. You know what I mean? So what we did with the metaverse, I mean, we was just, we the always beginning? ahead. We mm-hmm. always looking mm-hmm. ahead because we always trying to experiment and see how we could really get it cracking super ahead of the game. 
So what we did, they barely doing now. You mm. know what I'm saying? So to answer your question, it's up for the metaverse. Um, shouts to Voxels. They about to integrate, um, you know, uh, ordinals and uh, blip map and all of that, you know, which is a Bitcoin technology with the Ethereum blockchain. So oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. remember, we like fifth graders here. You got to okay. talk to us. Yeah, yeah. You got to break it down now as we learn it here. No, but I like information. Yeah. yeah. You're already. Yeah. Um, last thing on this um thing, and then you could join us for the last topic to have some fun. Please, my brother. Um, Damn. Oh, NFTs. Mm. What are, what are, uh, NFTs a thing of the past is it still like because I remember during the pandemic NFTs was, was jumping huge. like crack in the yeah. 80s bro niggas like I need an NFT yeah. the NBA yeah. was in on the scam they were selling highlights niggas was selling shit too mm. they was just going crazy so NFTs what's, what's the words on them NFT life um, NFTs are up just like they was then you know mm-hmm. what I mean you got people with, like doodles telling you earlier yeah. like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying like Pharrell got to join with Yachty and you know what I'm saying? Shouts to 41, you know what I'm saying? Kyle Rich and all them young boys out of Brooklyn, they connected to be able to do something with Dudaverse. With, with something that started as NFT, they ain't on Spotify, they doing music, they about to do a movie. Shouts to the Pudgy Penguins, that's, you know, they got merch in Amazon, Target, you know, so taking that IP that people own and be able to communicate that, make money for people. Um, you know, you got Board ABI Club that's still doing joint with, you know, they got bait. Collabs, they got mm-hmm. Ben's collab. I'm, I'm part of me, uh, Beamer collabs. You mm. know what I'm saying? They got collabs that's really, really happening, you know, based off a community that just bought into these NFTs. So, NFTs are still alive. As an artist, if you want to train your audience to know that they can always reach you, whether it's physical or digital, and you have ownership and you can track that, fuck with the NFTs. Um, you know, I, I got curse, right? Yeah. You too, my brother. This ain't live television. Get your shit off. You'll fuck with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, at the end of the day, NFTs is, is something that's popping. Pop, yeah. You really, like, mm-hmm. If you really want to like grow with your audience and, you know, into the future of things, having things pay you with Bitcoin, like you told somebody, yo, pay me half a Bitcoin. They're going to be like, where is your shit worth half a Bitcoin? Because right now, Bitcoin like 67000 mm-hmm. So that's like... 32 and a half K. Mm-hmm. You telling a nigga that your painting is worth 32 and a half K, you be like, yeah, bro, pay me half a Bitcoin. Nigga, you fuck with me, right? And then mm-hmm. in two years from now, that, you know, we need 32 and a half then turn to like, you know, mm-hmm. 33 mil. Yeah. I mean, I don't, no financial advice. I'm not a, yeah. I don't do none of that. I do your own research, but it's up. It's up. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So, what's one word of advice you have? For the people uh, there. For the people. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, get a hardware wallet. That's get a hardware it. wallet. Get a hardware wallet. Okay. Tap in with Black Brooklyn. www.blackbrooklyn.io. Sign up for our newsletter because we got all that information in there. Um, we do the Wednesday shows on Twitter. Shout out to First Floor Productions, you know what I'm saying? Shout out First Floor. Always getting us right, making sure that whatever we need to deliver on to get to the peoples, we, we make it look good. We make it, you know what I mean? Make sure you tap into that October 27th mm-hmm. brunch. Um, RSVP. You know, the website, all socials, at Black Brooklyn, you know, at Black Brooklyn underscore, um, www.blackbrooklyn.io. You know what I mean? You, you, we got some architects in the fold. We got some, like, big, you know, people that really want to build real estate. www.smoothstudios.xyz, you know, that, that that studio going crazy. But, you know, that's, that's it. Yeah, tap in with us, blackbrooklyn.io. Talk about the floor series real quick. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I meant to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, thank mm-hmm. you, thank you, thank you. Um, so... If y'all want to get familiar with some of these some of the crypto terminology, you know, what nobody's talking about, you really lost or whatever, you still want to get involved with the crypto and you really don't, you know what I mean? Like, we got a glossary for that. It's a glossary of terms so you can floss your knowledge. Look at that. Simple. Look you know at I mean? that. It's cheesy. Now nah, y'all whatever. ate that up. Nah, but, I'm into that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's a glossary of terms. And you not gonna somebody gonna try to pull one on you like yo ah uh, ah uh. at least you know the lingo you in the mix. Secondly, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying if you really want to know what's up like you really want to save mm-hmm. your coins, tap in with that floor screen. You know what I mean? Word. That's fire. That's fire. So you heard tap in with him on all his mm-hmm. social. You you shout out your personal joint. I mean Black Brooklyn dot. Oh, I, I, I just listen. I just whatever you okay. want to do, just do your thing. I-